We're going to be using the Nikon Z5 and the Nikkor ZMC105 f 2.8s uh, because I like the Nikon Z5 and I don't really think I've done a ton of macro with it and I definitely haven't done any focus stacking with it. Sweet, we actually got two different colors. Uh, here, we got this one that's a little darker. And these, which, oh, they got little water droplets on them. Two 50 shots. Focus step with two. That looks good. All right, so now I'm in Luminar, which I have never used the focus stacking for. I should have a long time ago. I just want to see how it works. What I can tell you is that focus stacking in Photoshop is kind of a total pain, but it's relatively quick. It, it is just like a CPU hog. Right, it will totally just like, eat. <laughs> it will eat your um, your computer speed. I'm gonna select all the photos, and I guess we're just supposed to drag them into the focus stack slot. Come on, and stack. It's not instantaneous, apparently. I guess I'm gonna get a refill on my coffee. Hey, there it went. That I'll have to see and post uh, how long that took, but uh, I'll, I'll post up how long that took. <laughs> hey, it looks pretty good. <laughs> All right, I like that. I mean, it took a while, but it went ahead and automatically cropped the, uh, the difference in the frame, which normally you have to do yourself. This looks a little strange. I don't know if that's part of the flower or looks like a mess up I can fix that either way let's uh go ahead and see what this looks like a little bit zoom in and see how the z5 did it obviously luminar obviously focus stacked it but looks nice not the sharpest macro ever but you know we got some bugs hanging out that one's sitting right on the water that's a little bit goofy. So, I mean, obviously the movement of the bug, you would have to go in and clean it up a little bit, or you could just leave it. It's not that noticeable, but well, it's pretty noticeable. Uh, so yeah, you would just go in and clean it up from there. Seemed like it worked pretty good. Let's check out another photo. Let's try a different flower. Here we go again. <laughs> hey, there we go. Let's check it out. What are those little ants or <laughs> some kind of bug? This isn't a great shot, but it is nicely stacked. And there doesn't seem to be anything really goofy going on. I probably should have set the focus point here because that was the closest, but it's closest to the sensor, but yeah. Looks alright. <laughs> How many images did we have 50 again? Oh, it's gonna take forever.
Okay, let's see how this one looks. Wherever I chose to put my focus point was the, <laughs> was the wrong spot. I don't know where I put it. It looks cool though, it's super duper sharp. What happens, we give that a little contrast. Awesome, sweet. It's a little bit neon, but you know. Okay, so for some reason, this is 32. I wonder if I interrupted the 50. Uh, there's definitely, like on this day, I did, let's go ahead and get that stacking. Um, <laughs> on this day, I did um, shoot, you know, uh, 20 stacks, 30 stacks, 50 stacks, and maybe even 100 stack, but I'm not going to mess with that one today. I mean, if 50 stacks take that long, 100 will be like when you really need it. Uh, I'm looking at the battery. You guys don't know this, but behind the scenes, I've been testing uh, this particular camera um, for like a month now. And uh, hey, the stack is done. But <laughs> currently, I'm testing battery and overheating. And I've just noticed that about the 17 minute mark, it got a hot card. And we're down about two bars of battery shooting 4K. 30 uh, h265 8-bit it looks really really good so i probably should have stuck the focus point up here i don't know where i stuck it i literally shot this i'm sorry guys i shot these like oh gosh like probably three weeks ago to the making of this video maybe four weeks and this is i'm editing this way ahead of time so i don't have all the info this is sharp but it's kind of distracting let's check this out let's go to develop Maybe just a little bit of uh, exposure. Uh, we definitely need to pull the highlights a little. Just darken shadows. Let's darken blacks. Give it a little white. It looks really nice, though. So I have to wrap up this video before <laughs> the camera dies. But what did we learn today? The Nikon Z5, awesome for focus stacking. Luminar Neo does a really good job, if not a bit slow, it is actually more convenient than in Photoshop because in Photoshop, it is a CPU hog. I'm talking, it's tough. And so you trade off that slowness and lagginess for just a little bit of time. You know, you set it and forget it and it automatically crops it for you. It aligns everything. It, it looks good. I like this. I'm Z-Wade, the Z-Wade and Z-Wade Photo. Stay sharp, YouTube.